Hello guys, welcome to my channel, The Baba Show, your channel. I'm your man, 3D from the third dimension. Well, today we're going to talk about AFCON, the African Cup of Nations. And on the headlines we have, uh, we're going to talk about the results. And then comes the Algerian coach complaining about the weather in Cameroon. And also the Zambian ref who has been... Uh, on the discussions these days about you know on the game uh tunisia versus mali and then at the end we also going to get some exclusivity about the crypto money in the world of sports so let's head into the main deal well what's going on with the African Cup of Nations, the teams played the first mass matches. So all of the teams played their first matches and then the result is uh, a little bit uh, tough. So it means that African teams are getting tougher. Before we used to, you know, we could just say the, 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 the scores. Like pronostically, we know this team is going to win and uh, how many goals were, were going to be scored. But this year, the first leg, I mean, the first matches have been tough. And well, unpredictably, we see uh, the you know weakest team that we know before getting better, and also the greatest team also still maintaining their strength. But what is very very funny for me is that the winnings has been one to nil, so one goal to nil. Most of the winnings has just been one zero one zero one zero, and only Cameroon made it by two goals to one, which is. It doesn't make any difference and then we have some uh, draw matches zero zero so it means less goals were scored wow that is a great time people are having and uh, I mean not a great time but a uh, wonderful performances if the game gets tougher like this well talking about how the game gets tougher comes also about the weather here comes the Algerian coach complaining about the weather like it's been 28 degrees in Cameroon and uh, I'm telling you guys it's really hot but it could not be as hot as it is in the Sahara or you know the other places in Africa so talking about that the Cameroon I mean the Algerian uh, coach was complaining about the performances of his players and he's putting it due to the weather so are you guys really um, thinking the coach is really right? But, you know, the north of Africa and the central Africa is not having the same climate. And when the journalist was asking him questions uh, during his press interview, the coach kind of get a little bit furious with his, you can just watch with his uh, response to the journalist. So you can watch this one and then we get back to get more of the AFCON 2021. Well guys, uh, as you followed, I don't know if the coach could just bring this as an excuse, but there is no excuse. They have to be prepared because even in, uh, in the Euro Euro European leagues where most of the players, you know, are playing for their clubs, Sometimes they also play during the, the, the summer, so which is very, very hot in Europe and other countries. So I don't think that might be an excuse. So let's head into what is, you know, branding. I mean, it's been on discussions. And uh, this is the Zambian referee, Jani Sikweze, who was um, officializing the game between... Um, Tunisia and uh, Mali. So the game was very tough and uh, Mali actually won that one by one goal to new to new. So what's really the problem with the with the ref? Was there something going on wrong in his head? Because we can't believe what was happening. Like how professional this guy is and being professional to unprofessional. He was just totally out of the game where he's going to was the end of the game at the 86th minute of the game, just four minutes to the 90th minute. That is not even adding the additional time. And even though the game was stopped, 
by his mistake, he also stopped the game at the 89th minute. And uh, that is how the game totally ended. But Mali won the match. So my question is, what was wrong with Rev Janice Kweze? Well, the good news is, Binance has become the official sponsor of AFCON 2021. Right? What is Binance? Actually, Binance is a crypto market. You know, people who deal with crypto, actually, this is a crypto market and it's coming to Africa. When we're talking about Binance, we see now African uh, Cup of Nations being sponsored by Binance. And uh, inside Binance, you are going to deal with crypto money. So this is the crypto world into the world of sports, precisely football. It's a great news. And it's time to start talking the crypto talk. Well, it is time to uh, learn more about the crypto money, the crypto world, and then we can start talking about the crypto talk. But guys, we're going to talk about this for you to get more insight and uh, more depth about the crypto world. So I might have a uh, guest with whom we're going to talk about this. Is it real money? Question mark. So if you really like this video, make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification button so you can get notified anytime there is a new video like it will be coming after this one there is another one coming so make sure you also like and uh, come to the comment section below i have my questions there if you follow well this video come and answer to those questions and uh, make sure you also share who knows i love you guys and you know what peace <laughs>